In this lesson, we are going to learn how to execute a piece of custom code or how to view the execution result of a certain piece of code during the debug session using display view or debug shell. It is a wonderful utility. Now, this display view or debug shell both are same thing. Display view was present in Eclipse till Eclipse Photon, its name was display view and later on it was renamed as debug shell. If I go to the Eclipse documentation, I can show you. As you can see over here, so Eclipse Photon onwards, the display view has been renamed to debug shell to better match the features and purpose of this view. Also, a Java comment is shown in the debug shell on fresh open that explains when and how to use it. So, if you see here, under show view, under debug, we have this debug shell. Photon onwards, it is debug shell. Before that, it was display view. So, it's an area to write, run and inspect Java expressions in the context of a debug session. So, when you are debugging a certain piece of code, suppose you have placed the breakpoint, you are running the code. Now, certain piece of code you want to execute without tampering or modifying the existing piece of code, then this display view or debug shell becomes very handy. Let me demonstrate this to you with an example. So, here what I have done, I have opened the same project, same piece of code, one in Eclipse Oxygen, another in 2022-06 version. So, one is old version and another is new version and I am going to show the example with both the IDs. Let me go back to Eclipse Oxygen. So, here I have a sample piece of code. What it does? There is an utility. It calls get person data method. Then there is a get zero. So, it is getting the first item and then on top of that get edge. So, here the logic of the program is not important, mainly the functionality is. So, let me place a breakpoint over here. Double click, run, debug as Java application. As expected, it's asking for confirm perspective switch. Yes, let me do that. Now, here the program is stuck and this method is called, but I want to see here Okay, I got the first element, say get 0, then I am invoking get age. There could be examples you might want to know, okay, this get person data, how many element it has, right? And this particular thing, what it returns. So, what you need to do, you need to go to window, show view, other, under debug, this display will come, you can just type TIS on top. And under debug, you would get this display. Now, suppose this is the piece of code I have here. And I want to see maybe the number of items it returns. So, I am copying this piece of code and placing here. And this particular section under display view, it has all the features of the editor. Here, you have content assets. So, I, if I place a dot here, I'll get all the methods. So, I want to get the size. Press enter, select this and here on the right hand side, you can display the result, whatever the method is giving you back or you can just execute it. So, let me do the display result first. So, if I run it, the flow goes to the original console. So, this method is invoked and all the prints are coming but if I come back here it is giving me the number of items here 8 same thing what I can do I can clean this from here place the code again dot size now I have to select the piece of code and here what I will do I will just execute it so it won't give me the result back here but it would do what I want it to do, that is execute this. So, it has executed and the output is shown here in the main console. In the display, I don't have anything because I just want to execute this method. So, in this way, what we are doing, we are writing certain piece of code. It depends on the context of your code or debugging, what you want to run, what you want to inspect. And it gives us a way to do the live coding during the debug session without modifying the existing code. So, this is applicable for versions prior to Eclipse Photon. Let me close this session. Let me go to a new version of Eclipse. So, here I have Eclipse version 2022-06. Same thing I am going to do over here. Place a breakpoint. 
run this in debug mode. Switch to the debug perspective. Now the breakpoint is hit. Now here you need to go to window. Same thing, show view, other. Now here if you type debug, under debug we have this debug shell. The display view is changed to or renamed to debug shell. Click on open. Now it says use this area to write run inspect Java expressions in the context of a debug session. So same thing I can do over here or maybe similar thing. Say I do it like this. Control C. Paste the code. Control V. And I have to select the expression here. Okay. Then it becomes active. So if I select this one. Let me execute. This one display the result of the selected text. Now the flow has come to the console, but I need to go back to the debug shell. What it is returning? It's returning an error list, right? So same way what I can do, I can just press a dot over here and maybe get one. Let me remove this part, shift home, delete. And I select only this part. Again, display the result. From console, let me go back to the debug shell. It's giving me a person object. So it's pretty handy depending on your selection you can execute certain parts or you can view the results. So as I have selected this display result similarly I could have executed the selected section. So we have the feature of content assist. We have the feature of selecting a particular piece of code and accordingly we can change the code and see the results as we wish depending on our debugging scenario so it's a very handy feature very less known or less discussed feature but it's a very important one while you are debugging little bit complicated problems